Hi, this video is showing you an Easter card that I made featuring Little Candy Peeps. I also made the coordinating paper using the stamp set. I have a video on my channel that shows you how to make your own designer paper. It's very simple and very quick and you shouldn't be afraid to try it yourself. The outside of the card features two little candy peeps which are very sparkly which I will show you how to do that. After I did this card I decided that I wanted to bring a little peeps on the inside of the card so I'll make that change also as I go. So I have already put all the stamps on my clear blocks but let me show you the materials that I need to make this card. I have a card base cut eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter a yellow mat cut four by five and a quarter a piece of the pattern paper that I sh that I mentioned there's be a link in my description that shows you how to make this pattern paper yourself I also have a white square at three and a half a white scrap which is two and a half by two and a quarter and a little bit of yellow scrap that I need you just need a little bit of it The inks I'm using today are um, Summer Sky, Tuxedo Black, Dandelion, and Tangelo by Memento. I'm also using the Versafine Onyx Black and Twisted Citron, which is a distress ink. And I'll need a blending tool for that. This is made by Ranger. It has little pads that you attach with Velcro. I'll be using my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. I have um, heart shaped stitch die cuts. I got this on Amazon and I have the stamp set from Simon Says Stamp called My Kind of Peep. It also has coordinating dies. I will clear this stuff out of the way and we'll just get started. I've brought in my MISTI tool and I have already put the stamps that I need on the MISTI tool where I need it to be. The first thing is to grab the white scrap and put it into the MISTI tool and then ink up the first of the peeps. I'll be stamping both peeps on the one sheet of paper by turning it upside down after I have the first one stamped. Since I'm using two different dye inks, I have to be sure to get a good cleaning on the stamp between it. So after I've done the Tangelo, now I'm doing the Summer Sky. And I had a good impression the first time, so I didn't need to double stamp, but it, since I'm using the Misty, if I needed to, I could. Now I'm sliding it to the top and I'm going to ink up the outline of the bunny with the Tuxedo Black and as before switching it upside down to get both sides of the bunnies. And now I'm going to move on to my die cutting. Taking the larger white circle, right square, sorry, I'm going to line up my die cut onto that and the smaller die cut heart I'm going to put it on the scrap. For the bunnies you have to be really sure that you line the die cut up very well with the stamping so that you don't accidentally cut off a bit of it. I use a post-it note to hold the die in place to make sure it doesn't shift around while it's being run through the Big Shot machine. You could also use your magnetic platform if you had it and then you could avoid using the post-it but it's better to be safe and put the extra step of posting the post-it step. And now that I've die cut everything and I didn't mess up the die cut, I'm very satisfied with that. I actually spent 20 minutes looking for the heart die cut because I didn't realize until I looked back to this video that when I was clearing up I threw it right in the trash and so you could see me just throwing it all in the trash. That was a funny not moment. <laughs> And 
And now I'm going to do a little ink blending on the die cut heart. I've grabbed my Twisted Citron and the blending tool and I will just quickly go around the outline, outer perimeter of the entire heart. I sped this part up so that the video is not too long. And I'm just cleaning up to make sure that there's no residue left to get on the rest of my project. Now I'm taking the Versafine and I'm stamping the sentiment for the outside onto the die cut a little bit to the right and but well centered. And I want to stamp the smallest of the peeps in the upper corner of the die cut. That's why I stamped the wording a little bit to the to the I oh, was sorry, it was the left, not the right. And this is a two-step stamp, as all the bunnies are, the peeps are. So first you, you stamp the solid color, and then you come back and you look through the stamp and you stamp the outline. It's very easy to line up these this stamp set. I love it. Some of the two-step stamps don't line up very well, but this was a very good one. And I want this heart and the bunnies popped up on foam tape, so I'm bringing them a big roll of foam tape and making sure that the foam tape doesn't extend beyond the ears or the little bunny tail. And you see me trimming off when I had a little bit too much. It was a little tricky getting that such a small piece of foam tape on the smallest heart, but I managed it with my tweezers. And now, as I mentioned, I wanted to do the extra peeps on the inside of the card. So the first thing I need to do is stamp the sentiment and then do the same thing on the inside peeps, the smallest peeps that I did for the outside on the heart. And you might have noticed that I was starting to do the sentiment going the wrong way on the inside of the card. I frequently make that mistakes. I have the in inside going portrait and the outside going landscape. So if, if you are having that problem also, be sure that you do the inside of the card before you attach your outside panel so that if you do make a mistake, you can, you can fix it later without having lost your panel. And now I'm moving on to assembling. I've got my ATG gun and I'm going to tape everything together. And you see that I made a little uh, unhappiness with the first try for the designer paper. So just pay no attention to those little extra purple peeps. And I also, also check to make sure that I'm putting the panel on the front of the cart, not the back of the cart. That is also a frequent boo-boo that I make. A little bit of extra foam tape on the heart. Again, making sure it doesn't extend past the edges of the die cut. And then just plop it right down on the front of the card. A little bit to the top, but also centered. First, a little struggling with the nails as usual, but I found the best way for me to put the peeps on was to put them both on together as a pair, so that way I didn't have it a little bit off, one too much to the left, one too much to the right. So I take the foam tape off of both and put them down together. That's just a little issue that I have. And the smallest heart, I'm going to put that, using my tweezers to help me, right at the bottom of the large heart. Now that they're in place, I'm going to add their little faces. This stamp set has a, three little, two eyes and a nose on a little separate stamp. There are some of the eyes that are just straight on and some are winking. It's really cute. And now I'm going to take my sparkle pen and sparkle up the peeps. Because the peep candy is very sparkly, it has a layer of sugar on it. So this little sparkle pen makes it look like they're little sugary peeps. It doesn't show very well on the video, but it's really sparkly. I 
I hadn't realized it at first, but I forgot to color in the letters of the prototype. So I've fixed that, and I'm now coloring the the uh, prototype in with the a rose marker. And I've also grabbed a gray marker for the shadow. And I will list those materials in the comment section. And that's the finished card. It was very simple to make. It went together really quickly. I hope you'll try to make your own custom paper. It's really not as difficult as it seems and you can really bring a lot of personalization to your card projects that way. Please, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel. I try to turn out content pretty frequently. I am enjoying all the positive comments that I'm getting. Thank you for watching and have a good day and a happy Easter.